All right, welcome back to Shane's DIY. Uh, I've got another Starlink video today, and I've had a lot of requests to uh, compare the node speeds when wired via Ethernet compared to wired directly Ethernet to the uh, main router. So I'm going to do a couple of tests here and, and see if there's any significant difference. Um, right now, I'm plugged into the uh, directly to the router. Uh, with Ethernet, I am going through a switch, but it's a gigabit switch. I don't think it'll have any effect on the speed. So let's uh, let's start doing some tests here. Um, and I've had people tell me in the past that this uh, you know Los Angeles server would slow me down since I am in the Phoenix area. But the way Starlink works, it goes up to space, comes back down to a, a ground uh, system, and then it goes to a POP the closest one and Los Angeles is the closest one so it wouldn't make any sense for me to switch that because that's where the uh, that's where my signal lands so anyway without further ado let's uh, let's do a test here we'll do a few of these I do have other people on the network now so the you know the total speed may not be accurate on these speeds uh, that I see on my speed test uh, with other people doing it but uh, I just want to compare what this machine will do um, on uh, on a speed test when I'm directly plugged in. That's pretty terrible right now. <laughs> so I may want to try this again when uh, my kids aren't online doing stuff, playing games, watching videos and whatnot. Alright, so test one direct. I got 16.07 uh, download and 11.52 up. Alright. Let's do another test. I'm going to do three uh, each and see, you know, get an average on it. See, because uh, sometimes this thing, you'll, uh, if anybody if you start like, you'll know that the uh, speeds kind of have a tendency to go way up, way down sometimes. Plus, it might depend a little bit on what my kids are doing at the moment. Oh, uh, this is pretty slow. Twenty two point seven and nine point six three. Before we do this next test, let me pull up the Starlink and see if I can see the total speed. I can it'll tell me if there's a bunch of other people doing stuff at the same time. Alright, so here's my total download. And not not a lot of activity. Those are my two tests, it looks like. So my kids aren't doing much slow today I guess so let's start another test we'll quickly look over to uh, let's see, maybe I can split these up here we go yeah see so you, you can see over here I've got a download speed a little bit higher than the speed test speed uh, just due to other traffic on our network It's still pretty slow. It's probably the slowest speeds I've seen in a while, actually. Lately, I've been getting up into the 80 to 100 range more regularly. All right, 20.55 and 5.68. All right, now I'm going to switch my Ethernet cable over to uh, my node that I've got sitting here on the desk. All right, I just plugged in my <clears throat> Ethernet cable to the node. Give it a minute to make sure I got a good connection. All right, let's do another test now. <clears throat> so this is going to a hardline connection to a node, which the node is then connected wirelessly to the, the main router. Oh, wow, look at that. I might want to go back to the main router and do another test and see if that's just coincidence, but it's a lot faster. Wow, 42.77. 8.0. 
0.28 up. All right, let's do another one. This is very interesting. It's cranking on this one. Wow. 129.80. And 9.98 up. All right, let's do another one. Now the uh, traffic on my network, uh, my kids are on the same hardwired network as I was on the first one, uh, so that definitely could have an effect. I may have to run this test one more time when, uh, when the kids are off the network and see if that traffic was affecting it. But I didn't see a lot of traffic on the, the download speed on the Starlink over here. It wasn't significantly higher than what I was seeing, so I mean it wasn't a shared thing. So that one went back down, 55.6, uh, 55.46, and 7.83. Well, I don't know if that's just coincidence or what, but it was a lot faster on the node. Now I'm going to go back to the hard line, or to the, directly to the router, and let's see if that uh, does any better. All right, let's do a couple more tests just to rule out the coincidence. All right, here we go. Now this time I am plugged back in directly to the router, uh, again through a through an Ethernet switch or a gigabit switch. If you can see over here, um, it did shoot up to like 50 briefly when this was at 30. So um, I don't know. There must be some lag in the. Uh, Starlink router's response. 29.45. Three point five two. Alright, let's do another one. Yeah, there's some big usage on the kids right now. I see some shooting up pretty high. 23 and I'm not even started yet. It's looking better. So you can see the inconsistencies with the connections here. But that could easily just be the random traffic on my network. 58.09, 4.67. And just for kicks, we'll do one more here. I may go ask my kids to stop what they're doing briefly and see if I get any significant change. Well, it's going back up. 64.07. Wow, that's a pretty good upload. Eighteen five eight. So I jumped back up. So I, I I would say that the node does not significantly affect negatively if you're plugged in via hard line. Uh, done some wireless tests, they kind of similar results. Uh, speeds weren't any different really. I saw you know, it's the same high speeds, you know, or low speeds, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, it doesn't seem to be that much faster when it's plugged in via Ethernet, but uh, it's hard to get side-by-side -side tests just because of the um, 
the, the nature of the connection because this is not consistent. Um, you can often go up and down, you know, from minute to minute. Uh, but uh, so these are fairly consistent. I generally, you know, on average, they were higher on the node, but that could have been due to a little bit of traffic um, from my kids playing. I'm going to go ask them and see if they can uh, stop whatever videos they're playing briefly, and, and then uh, I'll jump back on here and do another couple of tests. So I'll stand by. All right, so one of my kids was watching a video. Uh, I am still plugged into the main router. Uh, you can see on the Starlink uh, statistics, there's not a lot of download. So I'm going to do another speed test right now. Let's see if this shows any significant improvement. Yeah, not really. I uh, haven't done a recent uh, reboot of the router. I think a day or two ago I did, but um, sometimes that'll give me some brief speeds. But I think part of that is just because whoever's on the network doing something, it kicks them off, and then you've got a, a faster speed until everybody gets reconnected and all the devices are reconnected. So, yeah, when I had my another one of my sons stop playing a video, it didn't really give us any significant improvement, so... 33.34, 2.62. So there's there's your test. Um, uh, let me know if you want me to do any other tests. Uh, happy to do anything I've got the capabilities for. I finally got a second Ethernet adapter from one of my nodes so I can do some of these tests. Um, some people are curious if you can plug the, uh, the node in hardline to the main router. I have not tried it yet. Um, but I did uh, read in here uh, online that that's not compatible with that just yet. I think they might be working on that, but uh, as of right now, they don't claim it to be compatible with that. Appreciate any uh, comments you might have. Um, if you uh, like what you see, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to get the channel. We're getting uh, dangerously close to 1,000 subscribers now. Uh, that's kind of been the goal for a while, so I uh, appreciate it. Any subscriptions you can do, and uh, let your friends know uh, if they have any uh, questions on Starlink. Uh, take a look at the videos we've got. We've uh, done quite a few on the installation and various tests of the system. So uh, appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for thanks for watching.